people knocking down a transformer. Two people in the car escaped on foot. Police detained two people at the scene while a female passenger was treated for minor injuries. Those PG&E customers impacted by the outage had their service restored by noon. A fire in a public housing high rise in San Francisco's Tenderloin has residents questioning the effectiveness of the city's smoke alarms. KTV's Janine De La Vega went to the building at Ellis and Jones today looking for answers and found tenants who say they smelled smoke before any alarms ever went off. Charles Horsch came home today to see if there was any fire damage to his apartment. He says yesterday he was trapped on the ninth floor, which was filling with smoke. I couldn't see six feet in front of me. You know, it was, it was pretty bad, you know. Other residents in the building say their first clue that there was a fire was the sound of fire truck sirens, not smoke alarms. And I smelled the fire and then, I, and then no alarm go off on our floor at all. If we would have been asleep, we would have been dead. Each of the 95 units has a smoke alarm and so does every floor on the high rise. The San Francisco Housing Authority says the Department of Housing and Urban Development just inspected their fire system a week and a half ago and they passed. We know that our fire systems are in place and are in working order. So if somebody is saying anecdotally that their detector didn't go off, it could be there could be a legitimate region, reason such as that the smoke never got into their unit. But some residents who smelled smoke claim the main alarm on their floor didn't go off. I didn't actually hear the one in the building, but my smoke alarm went off. The housing authority says they are going to question each resident to figure out if there was a problem. Fire officials are investigating, but say some of the firefighters who responded did hear alarms, although it's unclear if it was on all floors. We will retest all through because of the incident that occurred certainly make sure that everything's in order because this could have been a lot worse if our fire systems weren't in order. Fire officials are still trying to determine a cause of the blaze. Reporting from San Francisco, Janine De La Vega, KTVU, Channel 2. More details now. There's a total of 102 residents in that Tenderloin building. Last night's fire displaced 27 of them. We're told the Red Cross is helping those residents with apartments that are now uninhabitable. Meantime, the Housing Authority says it is working to get them transferred to another city property. Investigators are also trying to figure out what caused another San Francisco fire that left 10 people without a home. It happened just before 10 o'clock last night at a building on 24th and Utah streets. Firefighters managed to put the flames out in about an hour. No one was hurt. The Red Cross is also helping shelter those displaced residents. San Francisco police are asking.